Today we're playing 60 par seconds and today we're having, um, we're gonna see, let's do Mega Man for our captain because she's smart, she's really fast, so hopefully it won't take too long to load and it'll be very quick, like very quick. I want this snappy, but not too, too snappy. I'm trying to grab something and I can't quite grab it. Ouch. Okay, that hurt a little bit. Oh crap. Okay. Get some soup. Oh, soup! Soup! I forgot how to pick it up. Sorry. Soup! Okay, I can't. Go in the shuttle! Idiot. There we go. Okay. Come here, Tommy. Can't grab that. I'm gonna grab soup. Um, go, 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 go. Grab a crate. Grab another crate. Uh, I'm trying to get all the stuff we need. I can't grab anything. Crap, I thought the artifact would've been one. I need meds. I need something, please. There's nothing in here. Uh. No. I'm not gonna have any meds. Gun. I'm not grabbing that book. Uh. Run. 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 Shoot. I did not grab that much. I didn't get any meds. I didn't really get anything. No. I barely got anything. No. <laughs> this is sad. This is actually sad. Okay, then why does the camera keep messing up? Sorry. Yeah, it keeps going down as soon as I put it. Okay, hopefully it'll stay there. Alright, I only grabbed Tom Thompson. Alright. Megan's tough. Tom Thompson's just Tom Thompson. Let's start. Hey Astro Computerized Assistant reporting for duty. You must be Megan, right? I am pleased to announce that you have been randomly selected to be the captain of this vessel. Welcome aboard the escape shuttle, Captain. On the behalf of the Astro Citizen Program, please accept our apologies for the slight inconvenience of being re relocated 60 par seconds away from Earth. Recommend a course of action, find a safe place to land, and then try to contact the outside world. Good news, Captain. The shuttle came pre-stocked. Oops, sorry. Let's see. Came pre-stocked with an emergency food supply. Use it well. Please power up the main computer for further instructions. It is located in the center of the shuttle. Follow the regular rationing protocol and feed your crewmate. Show me what you got, Captain. All right, so it says, Captain, since you've just taken command, the protocol dictates a speech must be given. A good one. Scratch that. A great one. Your fellow Astro citizen depends on you to give, to make the right decisions and give a great speech. This is it. You can really show that breed of a captain you'll be on this incredible journey. What kind of speech will you give? So if you can't see it too good, there is, here, I'll move it real quick. So there is these tally marks on each one. So this one's strength, that's intelligence, and this is agility. So we are going to take an intelligence speech because Mega Man is very smart. And no, I'm not being racist. She actually is smart. And we're gonna try to feed them every five days and stuff. So hopefully that will work and they won't starve. You knew exactly what to say. Your speech was more than enough to prove that you're worth as the captain of the last human crew in this universe. That was quite a performance, Captain. Your crew started cheering even before you finished with the speech. Long live the captain. Okay, so it did it went good. That's all I needed to hear. You found a couple of rusted and swollen cans of soup in the darkest corner of the ship. 
It doesn't look all that safe to eat, but then again, it's canned soup. It's supposed to last for 737 years. If we keep the cans, I'm gonna thumbs that up to the heavens and we're gonna just move on and see what how much materials we have real quick. 61 chemicals, 30 batteries, no rocks. Okay. Oof. I want to get an ending I haven't got yet. I've only gotten the I've gotten one ending. I forgot who what it was. Cool, we got two cans of soup from that last one. So let's look at the supply real quick. We have eight and one can is good enough for one person. So Okay. Captain, there appears to be an error, error, I am broken, please fix me. System error, quick action required, system error. Please, Captain, do something, do something. I'm not sure how long I can stay, stay operational. Act fast. We're gonna use our intelligence and we're gonna fix that. Okay. Good morning, Captain. Thank you for fixing the error that made it difficult for me to communicate. You are quite the hacker, I admit. Thank you, Captain. All right. Did you hear that popping sound? It's nothing to fear. The captain, the ship's heating system has broken. Excuse me, there's nothing. It meant nothing. It's for me to fear. The reboot should only take an hour. In that time, the ship will be exceptionally cold. Will you please... Please hug the nearest actor citizen to preserve warmth. What do you mean, awkward? It's protocol, man. Yep, we're just gonna say yes. And then tomorrow, it will be feeding day for everybody. I'm going to... Cool, we got 10 batteries. In the meantime, I am going to craft a med kit since we do not have one. They're all hungry. We're gonna feed everyone. And we're gonna see what it is today. It is a matter of national pride that America has been the first country to play sports in play space. Astro Citizen has already done, has already focused with the focus testing. Wait, what? Has already done the focus testing, and they've come up with the perfect name, Astro Sport. Refusal to participate will initiate an emergency captain ejection protocol. What shall the rules of Astro Sport be? I would think that. We okay. It's like a twenty-five percent. I don't know. They there's there's no. I don't know. Thirty-five percent. I don't know. Something. Anyways, it's pretty much fifty-fifty. That's what I meant. Well, there's three, so you know what I mean. I'm gonna say strength, even though we're not that strong. You know what? I'm actually gonna do agility. I think that makes more sense. Okay, Mega Man, I just fed- Okay, I haven't fed him yet, it's still day 5, sorry. Sorry. How come Tom Thompson isn't loyal? What the frick? I meant to grab three people, so we can have one in the, in the shuttle at all times. Have you ever played golf, Captain? Because in this game you invented, it feels a lot like golf. Sure, it's different, I believe you. We broke the artifact, you dumb idiot. Unfortunately, we we're not playing definitely not golf. Uh, okay, nobody's hungry anymore. Well, I guess that's good. Okay, so this is the situation where you have to make a game design, but we don't have any of this, so we're just gonna say no. I didn't, I was panicking. I did not grab that much stuff. I was just like grabbing soup the whole time. We made funny shapes with our fingers. I like the computer because. The computer prevents insanity a little bit. Oh, look at Tom Thompson's little stubble. I don't know if he already had that. I don't think he did, though. Mega Man is alert. That's awesome. Okay. Uh-oh. This is the weight observer situation. And since we have the gun, thank God I grabbed the gun. We are going to shoot it clean off our wrist. And on day 10, they shall eat again. But it is day 8 now. So, not yet. Cool, we got the first aid kit. Let's see what we can craft. Let's make that sock puppet, just in case we go insane. Okay, so this is 
Your attention is required, Captain. This is most abnormal. We are registering unknown transmission, but I cannot identify who is sending them. And most importantly, what they contain. It might be a solar for infer interference or worse, a new type of Soviet encryption. Someone needs to decipher these signals as soon as possible. So, who do we want to put in charge of this? We are putting Tom Thompson because I've seen in many videos of watching this tom thompson always gets it done and he does it correctly so we're doing him for that first contact awesome captain you need to see this i am not easily excited but this is one of the greatest moments for humanity and human made ai alike we are not alone in this universe this signals me encrypted were finally decrypted they are alien transmission as in coming from other life forms and no i do not mean the reds it is something we have never seen before there seems to be a number of intelligent civilizations in this galaxy the signals coming from everywhere we can safely assume we are going to meet some of them sooner or later or or rather the, your life will never be the same captain the strongest transmission is a distress signal from a nearby ship the source is in outer space, a short journey from our current position. So the ETA is four days. So we gotta wait four days to get this planet. And tomorrow we shall eat. Oh no, I've been hacked. The virus came into a transmission from a small asteroid. It is taking over the flight controls and steering us away. Help captain, get it out of me. So we're gonna use intelligence. Oh yeah, I grabbed the armor too. I just realized that. Awesome. Cool, cool, cool. Fun, fun, fun. Okay. Today is feeding day. I think everyone is starving. Why Why does Tom Thompson look like that? What do you? What's wrong with you, buddy? Oh, you're just starving. Y'all are both starving, aren't you? Yeah, y'all are both starving. I'm gonna feed you both. Then I'm gonna craft some soup. Craft some of that. Oh no, one of the storage lockers is jammed. It cannot be opened. It is worse. It is my favorite locker. So are we going to use our brains or bronze to deal with the problem? We are going to be using our brains because we don't have bronze. And hopefully y'all will just be hungry tomorrow and not starving. Y'all are good. Good. Oh cool, there was some soup in the locker. There was two, and then we just crafted some, so now we should have like nine, I think, or maybe eight, seven, seven, okay, I'm good with that. We got the sock puppet up here, but the med kit, we're doing good so far. The vacuum tubes will be fine, but you should protect yourself while you're freeze. Do you hear my teeth chattering, Captain? Of course you can't, because I'm a computer and I have no teeth, duh. Still, the module is still stuck in the cooling feedback loop, and it is getting very cold very soon. All right, we're gonna take our armor. Hopefully it does not destroy the armor. Normally I would use the lighter for that problem, but I forgot to grab the lighter. It was next to the shuttle too. I should have just grabbed it thrown in there. <gasps> the Petersons, they're here. Okay, we're one day away from the pro potential landing site. So tomorrow we'll be at a planet. So if y'all don't know who these roaches are these are the Peters petersons and they normally give you a gun if you don't kill them so i'm not gonna kill them because they're nice from what i've seen and on day 15 they shall eat but today is day 13 and we will be landing on a planet oh <gasps> no they ate our soup I should have killed him. I should have killed him. Because we have the gun already. Because normally they would give us a gun. For not killing them. And I know what planet this is. But I'm not going to say it until we land. This is the landing protocol. We are thumbsing that up. And if you're ready guys. Let's go with this planet. So now that we are on this planet. This planet is. And it looks like some stuff broke. Fun. Alright. 
Our descent towards the storm-ridden planet Crewmate Thompson piped up and he recognized the stern below. It looks like the predictions for our Earth after a Soviet nuclear attack, but he said with a pause, but with you in command, man, we can weather anything. With Tom's note in mind, you beautifully directed our craft way and a particular green parts of the atmosphere onto a safe resting spot on the planet. Cool. But it looks like our thing here broke. The communications console broke. Awesome. Just awesome. We're gonna get some soup. We are going to... What does this mean? Rocks. I'm gonna get send Tom Thompson out. Oh wait, yeah, I want to make the soup still. We're gonna send him out. Okay, we broke the armor. That's for chemicals. I think this one's for rocks. Okay, we're gonna send Tom Thompson out. Sending your brains and bronze, bro. Actually, I'm not gonna send him out till tomorrow, so I can feed him. So, he's not going anywhere yet. We're gonna wait. Till tomorrow, so both of them can eat. They're both starving. And once Tom Thompson dies, I hope he doesn't die, but if he does die, then... Um... We'll just kind of feed Megan whenever she really needs it. We're going to. Interesting news, Captain. It appears that there's a hollow space behind one of the wall panels. A hidden room, maybe. A secret dash? It'd be worth checking it out. What's your approach to finding out what's behind the panel? Let's use our agility. And we will craft some more soup in the meantime. See you later, Tommy. He should be back day 19. Megan shouldn't be starving anymore. Okay, so it says, yesterday you reached a hidden space behind one of the wall panels. The only way to get there is through the ventilation shaft, but thankfully you were nimble enough to fit in and exit through each other side. Unfortunately, he found nothing. Cool. I was hoping we would have found some soup. Man, there is another pill box like bunkers that live at this planet nearby. This one top has been blown open. If, if something detonated inside, you poke your head in the giant empty storeroom. You would easily get lost in there. Test your mapping skills or try to climb a particular tall unit for a vantage point. We are going to use our strength. I mean, smartness <laughs> to see if we can fix that problem. Oh, cool. You set off in the dark corridors of the storage facility near the shuttle by clearing the aisles in an orderly row by row fashion you managed not to get lost and it paid off deep in the facility you found a book on the bottom shelf caked in dust but full of detailed diagrams back at the shuttle you wrapped in an old old astro citizen handbook cover you are so hungry captain and tom is not here so we got a book we got the cosmos book cool wait what did that say what does it say the one who controls the soup controls the universe, or at least the hunger of their crew. Ah, <laughs> oh, it's a very wise book. Captain, I am detecting a trouble building up of mental tension. I recommend the course of an action to throwing an epic party. I took the liberty of inviting myself. How about we invite someone new? Uh, Captain, someone you don't know. Or we can make ourselves a new companion. Yes, how do we do it? Let's use soft puppet. Day 20 is when we're eating again. Oh, we lost the soft puppet though. Awesome. Oh. Oh. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna make another soft puppet if I can. 
sucky puppy. Sucky puppeta. Tomorrow, Tom is most likely going to be coming home. I didn't read that one because I didn't have anything for it anyway, so I just said no. Okay, Tom is not back. I am starving. I should eat. Well, you can wait one more day, Megan, then. We're going to check on the crew and make sure he's not actually dead. Because he might be dead. But we're going to just make sure. Okay, he's not dead. He's still alive. He's just out there exploring still. Ma'am, a sound from a came from a nearby appears to be a cockroach the size of a school bus. Scratch that. It's a dead cockroach. A figure of sitting on top of it, out of breath, with a spear in hand. It has seen us. It's approaching. A masked alien is rubbing its stomach and gesturing our way. I think it wants some food. Do we offer it some? I'll see if I can translate its mumblings. Yes, we are going to give this soup, this alien soup, because this is an ending. So we are going to help that alien. <clears throat> oh, what's up, Tommy? You're, I'm glad you're back today, because this is when you're feeding. You're getting fed. Y'all both get fed. Make some. Uh oh. I can't make soup. I have to wait one more day to make soup. I'm gonna let him go back out tomorrow. I have, there's nothing to report to you, Captain. I suggest you, Captain. Would you covering your mouth and you yawn? I thought you got a good night's sleep. Wait, could this be boredom? Yes, I heard that humans need excitement in their lives to function properly. How curious. All right, we're going to read the book and see if that'll help. We're going to wait a couple days to not, and we're not going to send Tom Thompson out until... Okay, I take that back. I might send him out right now. No, I'm gonna wait till tomorrow. Wait tomorrow, tomorrow. Captain, we are receiving a coded transmission of unknown origin. It could be a distress signal, a message of some sorts, and pretty much anything else. We won't know until we listen to it. Should I play the transmission? Yes, you should. And tomorrow I will be crafting some tape and sending out Tommy. Tommy boy. Cool, we got soup. Didn't mean to look at that again. We're gonna make tape. Okay. We're gonna use this so we can communicate. I don't even know what he brought back. I didn't look. I can look though, real quick. He got back day 20. Let's see, he got 30 of the rocks, transmitter, I mean, communicator, three soup, and then we crafted a sock puppet. Cool. I'm supposed to be sending him out. We're going to send him. Do none of these have batteries? We're gonna send them to Warhead Town. And we're gonna end the day. And on day 25, Megan will eat, Tommy will not, because Tom will probably not do that. Hello, world. Great success, Captain. The communicator attached to the communications console has worked like a charm. I won't judge the aesthetic since we are rece finally received answer transmissions. Now all we need to do is wait for someone to contact us. Someone will find us eventually. Tom, for a shanty-looking settlement to the south, I am keen to see what he discovers on this outing. Then we got the tape. I'm going to craft the lighter as well. Oh, the Petersons are back. Last time they stole our food.
The family and the sentiment roaches have showed mercy to really made themselves at home here on the shuttle. The Petersons are currently renovating the roach hole, including a second hole to appease their teenage daughter's Betty fits about moving out. All the noise from the construction is making it difficult for you to sleep. The Petersons may understand if you ask them politely to keep it down. It's never good to let bad feelings build up between neighbors. Will you speak to them? Yeah, I will speak to them because they'll probably stop all the noise. Two more days, Megan. I hope you're not starving. You don't look like you were starving. Now you're starving. Great. And the Petersons are back. Captain, there is normal rapid coming from the P Petersons' rope toll. It a problem appears to family dispute which corner of their shuttle the roaches want to vacation to. When disputes are normal among the isolated group of individuals, this sounds like a serious problem. Well, they are your neighbors. So will you check on the Petersons? Yeah, I will, because I want them to shut up. I should have just killed them. I should have killed them because they were so annoying. Okay, at least they're gone. You helped Pete and Patty Peterson worked out their domestic debut. Pete was so grateful he invited you over to throw the old dust ball around, but you declined, citing that you were too big to fit inside of their home. You felt better about improving your relationship with your neighbors, though. You are starving, ma'am, and home is still exploring the outside world. We're going to study that 60 care alphabet. Feed Megan. Possibly craft something. No, we're not going to craft anything and we're not going to recycle. We'll upgrade. Mm, no, we got to save the batteries. We have to save these batteries for something. It's for an ending, I'm pretty sure. But I'm not 100%. After studying the top on alien computer for a few hours, you absolutely pointed that the language appeared to be an apogee writing system without vowel symbols. Then we realized what we were reading. It was some kind of a historical art record akin to the news article. This text described a devastating war on this world, seemingly long ago, which ruined one both nuclear and chemical in nature. It's good to know that humans aren't the only self-destructive force in the universe. Okay. Tom is still out. Um, man, there's a powerful earthquake. The dark sand, like earth foot, is about to bounce, springing, throwing rocks in the air. Wait, it doesn't look like a rock. It looks like a torpedo. An unindoctrinated nuke. Okay, we're going to use our smarts. How will you use your intellect to think of a solution or get up there and decharge with a power cable? Yeah, we're going to use our smarts. Because we have a better chance with that. Let's go. Hurry up, Tom. It's taking a while. Take it. Ah! See ya. Oh, he looks absolutely starving. You're very absolute, ma'am. You access the scanners to check the levels of local radiation. Finding absolutely nothing but normal levels. Cool. Let's see what Tom brought, brought back. Anything good? Um. Okay, we found a communicator. 23 chemicals, 4 soups. How much is our soup supply currently right now? 9? Okay. Captain, our communication equipment is detecting something, and I don't think it's a transmission. It's a whale. Something is crying for help nearby. Would you like to go out and investigate? I know what this is. It's part of the ending. This alien, it's an alien, and it's going to sit here by Tommy over here, and it's going to be starving. It's a, I think it's sick, so I'm glad I made a med kit, so then we could use that immediately once it asks for it again. Yep, see it? You went out to investigate the eerie crying sounds of on the store, me dysphobian planes, and came back with a stumbling little alien. Oh, I didn't mean to click out, my bad. 
It seems we possibly entered it. Lona's emergency key escape pod flying through the cosmos. You brought it and propped it up in the corner. Captain, there is a sudden loss of energy from this non-essential system. So it is back to trace the leak and it is a, the family of roaches again, the Petersons. They found a way, way to reroute our electricity. The stolen electricity is used for the air conditioning unit in the garage. Okay, we're gonna use tape. Friggin' Petersons. And then we're gonna just look at our little, it's a very sick phobia. That's what it is. Oops, didn't mean to give him that. That didn't mean to give him that either. I think Tom is gonna die soon, but I'm gonna feed him tomorrow. Cause I need to feed both of them tomorrow. What are you drawing, Captain? I supposed to be ham. I understand you're fed up with soup. Okay, so this is gonna make our problem a little better. Oh, Tom died. Now we can't go back out. I should have just fed him yesterday. Gosh, dang it, Tom. Okay, we're gonna see if we can repair the armor. How much? Yeah, we're gonna repair the armor. We look like, it looks like we have a leak, Captain. The sprinkler system ha went haywire and now everything is getting wet. We need something to before our supplies get soaked. We're gonna use our strength. I mean, our smarts. We're gonna fix that problem. We can't go outside anymore because the captain is not allowed to go outside for some reason, and that's really dumb, but whatever. I'm gonna feed Megan really quickly, just so she'll shut up. You know, I just freaking better yesterday. These Petersons, again. Okay, they need something heavy to finish their project. They better give us this gun back. Or else, pew pew, it's die die time. Oh, cool. Got the gun and a can of soup. We're gonna treat the alien. And. It's sick still. Anyways, we came across one of the planet parent, planet's apparent habit, inhabitants. The alien carrying a heavy looking case entered a nearby bunker looking structure you, that, and you followed. Left his armor light suit in the case of the rack and multiple. Okay, okay, cool, cool. Agility. Not strength, not strength. We are very br not brawny. It's more not bronze. We're very not brawny. We're scrawny. Depending on how you cut it, the lesson is here: don't steal from random strangers, or if you do steal from random strangers, be better at it. Am I injured? Am I good? I'm good. Okay. We're going to craft some soup because we do not have that many. Like at all. Oh, well, this doesn't work anyways, but we'll just click agility. It's, it takes 2,000 Earth years for this. It says one to two galactic days, and then it is 2,000 Earth years. So, yeah, not coming that far. No, it's 1,000 Earth years, sorry. Captain, a troop of aliens with clipboards are bashing on our door. They are all heavily mutated with some wonky limbs in it and some extra limbs. With no limbs at all. They are clamping some kind of device onto the airlock door to try to force it open. 15 little gas mask aliens. So we're gonna get the gun. Hopefully it doesn't kill them because we have one of their freaking aliens in here. We're in the day. Oh, I was supposed to feed her. Okay, whatever, I'll feed her again okay. 
Sorry, Megan. A sweet old man looking like Charles Darwin is knocking at our airlock door. You let him in, you shake hands, and he holds it with an iron grip. Won't let go. But with technology, evolution stops. Soviet scientists want our species to stay strong, so they created me, the natural selection bots. He claims it's for your own good, which is what the dentist says. Okay, we're gonna shoot him in the face. And hopefully, that'll fix our problem. Or not. Hurry up with your car. And we broke the gun. Awesome. <sighs> I broke the gun, I broke the gun, I broke the gun. I'm gonna fix the gun. I'm fixing the gun. Of course I'm fixing the gun. You know I would fix the gun. We don't need the artifact. Oh. Okay, maybe we do need it. But it, it works still. So. Receiving a signal, ma'am, and it, is, it sounds like a gloopy loose version of Morse code. The signal is fading, Captain. Do you want to res quickly respond with the communicator or use the handbook to try to decode the signal first? Uh, let's decode it first. Then, one more day for Megan, and then she can get fed again. You consulted the shipboard handbook for tips and decoded the signal, but no merge clear pattern emerged. He kept pouring onto the notes and charts, but eventually transmission was nothing but mush code. I'm gonna make a can of soup. Look at dead Tommy over here. Um, this is like the food machine. We're gonna fix it with tape. Because whenever you do it with a shovel, it doesn't work. Tape always works. And then you'll get one or two extra cans. I got it. And I also crafted a soup can, so yeah, two cans. Speaking of cans, it's time for Megan to get fed. Tommy over here is dead. We are not going to use the mystery syringe on ourselves. Absolutely not. I've never done the mystery syringe because I don't know what it does. And I'm scared. So I don't want to use it. Oh. Oh. You decided against injecting yourself with a mystery needle in the cargo box. Wise decision, ma'am. However, a rat-like creature pattered along this morning. It emerged from the crate twice the size and incredibly muscular. Perhaps an ravenous roulette is, might have been used for after all. You are not hungry anymore. Um, there's a warm L signature on board. A parasite has worked its way up our nose and into our body. We're gonna use our intelligence to try to work that baby boy out. Hopefully that'll work. All right. You remember reading that going upside down can cleanse the body of worms. So you awkwardly positioned yourself against the shuttle wall on your head. This was clearly poor McCall. You failed to get rid of anything lucky for you uh uh so i basically have worms okay whatever we're gonna take the book and we're gonna fix the smell or whatever it is that affects to the computer sensors i should eat something why you wait two more days all right we're gonna use that med kit for this phobia we're going to craft another one. If I can. Not that alien is gone. It's from the silos 1799, so those are the good guys. Wait, what the? How did I get hurt? All right. Lonely 
who have been explained that it is in exile, cast out from home. Silo 1799. It is believed the world outside this was safe after it found records of a paradise zone to the west, untouched by war or fallout. And then it'll come back for us. And I got hurt. Somehow. Luckily for me, I got a med kit. So we're gonna med her. We're gonna try to turn the lights on. We're gonna go to day 45. We're gonna eat some soup and we're gonna do okay. Here you go, Megan. Nice and food. Okay, move lizard tremors. I mean, what? Ma'am, th are those tremors? Something's bearing up from underneath us. Some rather giant sandworm and periscopic like object is poking up from the gritty earth. It is appears to be extending low prongs from the various directions. Attempt to yank the strange tuber? Sure, let's do it. Why, why not? to know this passing nearby. Let me analyze it. The signal contain, contains virus. Captain, it is something infecting our crafting module. We're going to use the armor, I guess. Hopefully it doesn't break the armor. Please don't break the armor. Please, please. Okay, the armor's good. And we set the armor into our hacked crafting module and the two birds are fried away at you. Am I injured? No, I'm not. Okay. We're going to upgrade the armor. Captain, are you alright? Those weird spots on your arms are a little worrisome. Can you see them? Please wait while I search the medical database. Unfortunately, I'm unable to. Un and if oh my gosh. Identify your affliction. I'm afraid that you'll have to diagnose it yourself. Shouldn't be too hard. Doctors are overrated. Can you do that, Captain? We're gonna try the damn book. And look at Tom dead. And wait, why are the Petersons here? We don't even get anything about them. Okay. We broke the book. How would we break the book? That doesn't even make sense. We're gonna repair that book. Two more days, Megan. An alien vessel is approaching. Their shout has raged with a light chasing to the music that started blasting as soon as they we opened comp. Captain, they are playing rockability. Okay, they wanna dance off. We're gonna use our agility. Let's see if we can beat them in a dance. Dance off. Ooh, dancey dance. Ooh, dance, dance. Ooh, dance, dance. They honor anyone brave enough to step on the holy dance floor. Their leader, Warbot, spared you, but warned that next time the sweeter moves next time. That I better have sweeter moves next time. Okay. I'm okay with that. Warning, warning. We have a breach and the ship is about to be contained and I'm engaging all emergency protocols I'm available to my efforts appear to be un useless. This con contamination cannot be avoided. You have to protect yourself, Captain, before it's too late. We're gonna use that armor, baby boy. That beautiful armor in the back. And it's day 50. Ooh. What the Who is this? A space communist? Huh. Alright, anyways. We're gonna feed Megan. We're gonna... Um... Soviet space suits? Oh, so they're Soviets. Great. We're gonna use our intelligence to try to get them out. Alright. Dude's out. Ma'am, there is a kind of anomaly is sweeping 
over it. It's not radioactive or chemical, it's sort of space time affecting fog. Lights flicker with and as if it carries a charge. Could it be part of the, this world ruined ecosystem? Um, Captain, did you see that outside? Didn't think it was possible for a commander to hallucinate, but do you see it? The giant kettle? It seems to be speaking to us. It's asking if we've met the sock lady. So does that ring any bells, Captain? It does. I got that sock up there. <sighs> That means we are about to go insane. I could use rations, yeah, I'm day 55. A phobian vehicle is puttering towards us over the plains. It pulls on next to us and the alien decides to almost fall out. Another fragile phobian. What is it with these guys? The alien explains that it was held by Captain Eagle of evil of tribophobians and we're going to give them 10 pounds of various girls and this is hopefully going to be our way out we gave them 10 rocks awesome Um, that's some voodoo stuff, and I'm not messing with that, so we're just gonna ignore that. <laughs> oh, it's not this guy again. What is this dude doing here? Wait, how do we lose soup? Oh. And Coop, you threw a couple of insults and a can of soup at the aliens. Megan! I'm starving. Well, I can starve another day. All right, we're gonna use our intelligence. That's how they got off last time. We managed to do that. What? 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 No! The plan was good. Get rid of the intruder. Have a can of soup. And wait for this whole thing to blow over. Too bad you failed. You got yourself captured. Captain, this is Emskis S. You know me as Astro. I regret to inform you that we are relieved of your command. Command comrades come smo not. I take over this impervable shuttle. It will only to find Cosmograd, a city of commie knots. Cosmonauts of the universe unite. Uh we're about to get saved too. Well, if you guys liked this episode of 69 par sex, seconds, sec, par sec, par sec, I can't say it right, but whatever, you know what I meant. And I will see you guys in another video. Goodbye.